Yeah, might as well do this. Front lines, oh my gosh. Garden's Grace could... Oh, never mind. I mean, it's going to be just 10. <laughs> it's going to be a 10 cost, 5-5. Five, five. Oh my gosh. Counter spell? Nope. Oh my gosh. How is that? Uh, this will make it one, so... Do that. Ooh. Best in shell. Why do I keep getting this card? Uh, what's up guys, Brad here, and welcome to another Free to Play Fridays. This week we are bringing you a SI Jackpot Rogue, which uh, honestly there were a lot of ways to bring Rogue, I feel, for Free to Play Fridays, so I wanted to um, kind of do this first, and then later on we'll revisit Rogue again uh, with maybe a different kind of build. Maybe we'll do Jackpot again but with just a different package along with it, like Seeker or something. So anyways, uh, deck building rules as always are common cards, rare cards only, and the core set. Um, anything you're given for free, you can utilize because, well, it's free. So uh, technically Prince Renathal is f fair game for us uh, and Sire Denathrius as well, as long as you just click on the season pass and click it. Uh, but anyways, uh, we're not utilizing any of those cards that you can see the uh, the most expensive card here is Preparation, which is in the core set as a uh, epic. But let's jump right into it with the cards and explanation. So SI Extortion, we're going to jump into the SI package first. Uh, just being able to do three damage and getting the plus one counter for uh, the SI cards is positive. Plus it's tradable, so you can just draw a card. Uh, SI Seven Agent, a classic, doing the two damage plus... Uh, you know, a little bit of a body, not as useful as it was back in the day, but still, um, you know, counts for that plus one uh, for the SI cards. Then SI7 Operative, the three mana two four with rush, and after this attacks a minion, gains stealth. Honestly, not my favorite, but it does clear off a couple of the small guys and uh, can be kind of hidden behind stuff. So if we wanted to put in something that could buff it up, that's an option, like Cold Blood or whatever. But um, I just kind of played as something to clear off a couple small minions. SI7 Smuggler, the three mana, one three battle cry, summon a random one cost minion upgrade for each other SI7 card you have played this game. So you want, this is like one of the payoffs of playing the SI7 cards mainly. Um, you know, the other ones before this aren't the greatest. This is where the true power comes in, so... Uh, honestly, once you get to about, uh, five cost, I would say is where you're starting to really gain some really good value. So, yep. Uh, you know, and you could do something like, you know, shadow stepping it as well. If you want to get another larger minion on the board, SI seven informant, four mana, three, three, a battle cry gain a plus one, plus one for each other SI seven card you've played this game. So if you can get this to be, you know, uh, six, six, seven, seven, it's not bad, you know, and obviously you possibly can get it even higher. SI7 Assassin, 7 mana, 4, 4 with cost, 1 less for each SI7 card. You've played this game, and combo Destroy an Enemy Minion. So this is one that I feel is uh, very essential, especially nowadays with how large minions get. So you can Shadow Step this and be able to continuously kill something over and over again for a very cheap um, cost. So uh, And... Speaking of which, Shadow Step comes into play. So Shadow Stepping the uh, any one of the cards previously, and then obviously the stuff that generates the cards as well, uh, which we'll get into is a perk. So these are all like the card reduction cards that I'm gonna go over. So Shadow Step, we've got Preparation, which you can do with literally any, uh, any spell. So if you generate a large spell, that's, uh, that's definitely something you want with Jackpot. And then we also have Serrated Bone Spike to deal the three damage. If it dies, the next card costs two less. So um, essentially preparation with, uh, you know, a backstab kind of involved with it. So really great card. Uh, then we got Reconnaissance, the two mana spell, discover a death rattle minion from another class, costs two less. This can be real nutty. It also could be uh, kind of bad if you don't pull anything decent. For the most part, I feel like I usually end up getting something decent. And we do want minions because uh, yeah, spells are good, but you definitely want some sort of a board presence when you play Contraband Stash. 
Jackpot, two cost spell, add two random spells from other classes that cost five or more. This is really huge. So uh, a lot of times I think the problem when you're playing this deck is you might get some crappy cards and uh, which I will showcase. Uh, you probably already saw a little bit of clip of that. And if you get the crappy cards, you just don't want to play them because you don't want to make your contraband stash bad. So even if you were to get like cheap spells, um, you might want to rethink it because only five cards are being played. And if you play something crappy, you uh, you know that's just one slot that could be something better. Swashburglar, the one mana one one pirate, battle cry, add a random card from another class to your hand. Just a you know early game card you could play and try to generate at least something. Because we also have to have a way to uh, make Wild Paul Null be uh, zero cost. Henge Clan Burglar. This is a card. So this is what I mean. There, I only have a one of for this. And there's a lot of cards that could have been swapped in here. Maybe you reduce the amount of SI7 cards you put in. And you put more of the card generation for spells to kind of um, play around with the you know, the jackpot stuff. The Contraband Stash. Maybe you play Tess uh, Greymane in here. And I believe it's Tess Grayman. Tess, whatever. Uh, and if that's the the way you want to go, maybe you add a second Hench Clan Burglar in. But as of right now, I only threw one because it's a body, and I felt like we had enough card generation for this. Uh, Contraband Stash, like I said, this is the big uh, the big card that you're playing, right? This is what you're mainly playing for. So uh, make sure you just just have good things played. That's that's my big tip for you guys. Uh, Wild Paul Null, the 5 mana 3 5 with the rush and cost 1 less. So like I said, you want to be just make sure you play enough cards to make this guy cost 0 or at least 1. Um, card's really amazing and uh, you definitely have to put this in your deck. And finally, we have Sprint, the 5 mana spell, which it did get just buffed. So, 5, five mana for drawing 4 cards isn't bad, especially if you preparation into this. And yeah, uh, we do sometimes have issues drawing cards. Like you'd think with the card generation, it wouldn't be an issue. But every once in a while, you'll uh, run into an issue where you're just kind of playing a lot of stuff and you don't have any of the card generation in your hand. And then you're just sitting around kind of just hero powering for a couple turns. And you're like, man, it really would be nice if I had some card draw. So uh, I threw a one of in here. Like I said, experiment a little bit with yourself. See if you want to add... Um, add something else maybe other card generation cards instead of sprint or if you want to kind of reduce it but like i said i'll probably end up making another rogue deck for you guys down the road but anyways be sure to like comment subscribe and stay tuned for the game light guide my hand you didn't see anything okay uh swash burglar we just Screw back into prep. <laughs> Seems like uh, something I constantly do is just draw back into the same card. Right. Here we go. Feast of Souls. Okay. May the light grant you peace. Hmm. Just take that out with our weapon. Probably play Peace to Souls. Um, just as a one mana draw one. Honestly. It's not really the greatest though because it's taking up a spot for the contraband stash. So maybe we just don't play it. We'll see what happens here. Probably just playing jackpot here. Welfare and a little collateral damage. Okay. Make those work. Collateral damage actually and nutty. Reporting for duty. Okay. Actually, just gonna play this. Just to get an SI out so we can get sun damage. I'm 
going to start dropping some few stuff and then we're going to be crying because our deck's not crazy strong. It's mainly based on the cards that we get. It's fun. Oh, that works out pretty well for us. Hmm. Honestly. Not bad. Only problem is we don't really have anything that goes with it. So I guess we'll just draw a spell. Would have been nice if we were able to keep it down. Reporting for duty. Alright, let's see if we go jackpot. What the hell? Alright. Um Rolled that. Shadow Waltz could be good. Uh Celestial Alignment's a dead card. I guess maybe it's not if we get like a crazy spell. I don't want to reduce our plays to one card a turn. And we have some zeros. We are one. Hmm. Boy, our hand is really bad. I'm about to just play a 5 mana 3 5. Oh! If a minion died this turn. I did not realize that. I thought it was only a friendly minion. I don't know why I only just realized that now. <laughs> Alright. Remember this day. For you are graced okay. with my presence. Now to this. So. Hmm. Really does six damage. Hmm. Wow, our hand is so bad right now. So this is a four mana five five. Hmm. I wonder. Uh, I guess what we could do is. All right, so the uh, the play there was prep with the SI7 Assassin because we don't really have anything great to kill off. Um, as long as he doesn't kill anything, if he's just playing these legendaries, we could just shadow step it back and kill them, so we might be all right with that play. The only reason why I really want with it.
Interesting. Okay. Alright, get another weak one. Get another weak one, baby. That's what I want to see. Oh. All right. Well, what are you going to do? We do hit him in the face, though. <laughs> We like that. He doesn't have Sired and Athrys, which is nice, because he uh, played it. Only He's uh, playing Countess. That does suck. That definitely does suck. Give me something new. No? Um, a three cost card. Oh my gosh. Oh, what's the rub? It wasn't me. <laughs> Smells like breakfast. Three. Go. You gotta try to hold off. Um. It's funny, he only has 12 health, but we're really going to have a hard time getting through that. All are equal under the light. Quality, huh? Fifteen health, even worse. With every morning out of time, the light guides you. I honestly think we SI operator. Uh, what is operative? Operative. Wow, I can't speak. And then uh, SI seven assassin. Shadow step it. Let's ride. Target eliminated. We need to keep that in me. hand. For literally anything. Stash. There it is. We called it out. Okay. Gigafin is what we need. Big time. It wasn't me. This is good. This is pretty good. Still not feeling very confident, but I uh, I feel decent in our position with Gigafin, um, SI Assassin, plus Shadow Step, and we also have the Contraband Stash still in our deck. Um, SI Informant will be a good draw also, now that we've played more SI cards. And the uh, Smuggler as well. We also have the Reconnaissance as well, actually.
I'm running out of time. Did you give up? Definitely sucks. But Gigafen is pretty nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna shadow step this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What does I have? Oh, no! What will wet your whistle? Hmm. Still can't play Feast of Souls. We don't want to dilute the contraband stash. Like breakfast. That's terrible. Target eliminated. It wasn't me. We're literally gonna poke them down with our dagger. Ten more turns, baby. <laughs> And then I said, That sucks. That also sucks. Uh. I think we gotta kill it with serrated bone spike. I'm playing the wild bomb now. Job done. We just need some bodies out there. Gosh, he's totally gonna outvalue me though. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Don't do it to me. If you kill that 7-4, we are in such big trouble. I don't even, I honestly have no idea what he has in his deck. I, I can't think of Paladin cards, they're not played that often. Okay. Couple taunts. Contraband stash be good here. I didn't mean to do We've that, all been but there, huh? but that could work to my benefit. They were reduced. <clears throat> yep. We got it! <laughs> That's so awesome. Oh my gosh.
All right, that's going to do it for Free to Play Friday. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down below, and I will see you in the next video.